Yeah, the radar and lidar uh, they they work very well, but they have limitations. And one particular limitation is the range, uh, which for, for both sensors is limited to about 300 meters for technical reasons. Another uh, limiting factor is the resolution for imaging radar as well as for lidar. For both, at a distance of say 300 meters, there is a risk that smaller uh, objects are no longer detected. There are a number of other uh, limitations, but these are the major ones. And uh, this is what we are addressing with our wide baseline uh, stereo depth sensing. So uh, we, uh, we're using 8 megapixel cameras and uh, this is a much higher resolution and with that we uh, detect small objects even at much longer distances. So we are, we are speaking here about a, a range of up to one kilometer. We uh, uh, have a particular uh, experience with ISP, with Im image signal processing, and our algorithms they use a software ISP. And with this ISP, with the software ISP, that ensures that every single frame that the camera has delivered is processed in the best possible way. So we are working with raw data, and uh, so we do not lose uh, the information that other systems use uh, with the image signal processing. So we, we use the, the data to the full, and with that. Uh, we see at night as good as during the day and we also can deal with adverse weather conditions so uh, heavy rain, uh, even snow and, and fog and we, we can deal with those and, and therefore uh, yeah, we, we push camera perception uh, to the limits and that helps us also with our camera based depth perception because it is uh, much more robust than you would normally expect from a camera system. Uh, not at all, because we have uh, auto calibration. So uh, in our system, the cameras uh, need not to be mounted in a solid housing or in a, say, connected with a solid bar. We can attach the cameras, for instance, in the rear view mirrors, yeah? and uh, our auto calibration can deal with that. So with vibrations or camera movements, this is corrected with our auto calibration, and uh, this is another reason why we can do this kind of system. Uh, no, there, there is actually uh, there is no real obstacle. So we are right now working on implementations on uh, on SOCs, and uh, yeah, we expect that we will achieve frame rates which allow the the use in in production systems. So right now we have achieved up to 20, 20 frames per second, and we expect that this can even be increased. We have uh, two customer engagements, uh, but uh, yeah, we are very happy about that because these are important customers. But uh, I